found. There it goes. So just to give you a little background on how I got started in the video. Um, I've got two granddaughters that uh, decided when I think uh, Annabeth was 12, Caroline was nine, they wanted to play softball. I was like, great, you know, because I played baseball all my life. Uh, I can help them. I can coach them. And um, so I decided I can use video. Uh, I've always believed in video as a coaching tool, a great coaching tool, because you can show them. You can take a video of, um, of the player, and they can see what they're doing wrong better by watching themselves. So I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take video of them, and I'm going to use that video uh, to coach them. So um, I started doing that, and I, I was trying to get it, you know, just when they were batting. And um, so I could get the hits, but, you know, to get them, get the fielding plays, you really got to do the whole game. So I started doing the whole game. And I would take out the hits and the good plays in the field. Well, um, and uh, I mean, Caroline got on a traveling team out of uh, Dalton. And I started doing the games, right? So uh, at first it was just for Caroline. But uh, they were asking, you know, because they saw me videoing. And they were they were wanted they wanted to see the games, so uh, I started posting them to YouTube, and I can uh, control the security on YouTube. I feel pretty good about that. Uh, I can make it unlisted to where uh, you got to have a link to see the video. I can make them private to where uh, only those that I say is okay can see the video. So I could give that authorization to the to the parent. Or you can make it public. I mean, some people, you know, uh, are okay with that. So uh, I started posting the games to YouTube, and you know, with these with the new TVs, you can pull up YouTube on the TV and watch your child play. Well, uh, then I said, well, I can up this game a little bit. So I started editing the videos, and I would take out the good plays or I would highlight the good plays. Like, you know, if they got a good hit or made a good play in the field, I would do a replay, you know, zooming in and all that. And uh, that was pretty neat. Um, and then um, Annabeth got on the middle school team and uh, I, I said, well, I'm, I'll start doing videos there too. And then when she made JV, um, uh, I started doing the varsity and the JV, and I, I'm just doing, not streaming, I'm just d recording it, video. And I would do the same thing. Uh, I would extract the good plays and uh, save them for the girls, you know, try to get them to the parents. So they might want to use them, you know, if they're trying to get a scholarship for softball. You can send them off to the coaches. And uh, I did a couple of videos last year for a, a couple of girls. Uh, I compiled uh, some of their good plays, some of their good hits, put music with it, and um, and they used it, you know, to send out to coaches. But um, then uh, I started thinking, you know, WGAA and Andrew and them do a great job doing the varsity girls, but nobody was doing JV, nobody was doing middle school. And I thought, well, you know, let's get some excitement for the whole program. Let's, let's start putting JV games out there for people to watch, middle school games. To do that, you really need to provide play-by-play. -play. So I came up, well, no. What happened was uh, the Var Cedartown Varsity had a tournament coming up in Dalton, Georgia. And Andrew, and WGA couldn't make it because they had a, I think they had a football game. It was on a Friday night. So I told him I'd do it. And he said, sure, I'll, I'll stream your live video 
through WGAA, the web page, I mean the Facebook page, a link. I said, okay, well, that's good. That'd be great. And I got to thinking, well, you know, why don't why don't I go ahead and try to do some play by play? Uh, it, you know, it kind of scares me to death uh, thinking about it. But um, I said, or well, the first person that came to my mind was Andrew Tuck, because I'd heard him do uh, football games, and I'd heard him when he was a guest of Andrew's. I thought he did a great job uh, doing color play by play. So. Uh, it was at a varsity game, and uh, his daughter and my granddaughter uh, played on the varsity squad. So I went up to him, and I said, uh, what are you doing Friday night? He said, what do you mean? I said, would you like to do some live play-by-play? -play? He looked at me for a second, and he said, I don't know. I don't know. Let me think about it. So... Uh, before the game was over, he was coming up to me. He said, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I got Brandy Brady that's going to help me. I said, great. You know, I'll stay in the background and do uh, producing. You guys do live play-by-play. -play. It should work out great. And it, it did turn out good. The, the only problem was I had some static in the sound. So I've taken some measures to eliminate that. Um, and then this past weekend, uh, Andrew and Brandy couldn't make it, so I th I'm going to do it myself. So, wow, the first game I did Friday night against Rockmart, uh, I don't know, it about wore me out. I, I told, I sent a text to Andrew and Brandy. I said, man, y'all can have this stuff. Um, it's just too much like work, you know. Uh, but anyway, the brain, there was a Rockmark game. I did the play-by-play -play for that. And then I had some connectivity issues, you know, uh, broadband, all that stuff. So I didn't do live play-by-play -play for the Bremen game. But then Saturday, uh, I had uh, Charlie, Charlie Howard asked him to help me. So I figured two of us, you know, uh, I can, you know, we can keep the play-by-play -play going if there's something wrong with the cameras, whatever. I, the ball hits it on the backstop, knocks it back. I can fix it and all that stuff. And uh, maybe Charlie could keep game changers and keep the books and, you know, just work as a team. Well, uh, I, I, I kind of liked it more when I, when I did it and I had somebody helping me. Uh, so what... Uh, what I intend to do is, um, and I've, I've got some stuff to, you know, work out, uh, trying to get the sound right. Uh, I picked up this little unit right here that Andrew recommended. It's a four channel mixer. It's a Zoom uh, PodTrack P4. Uh, it's got some effects, you know, like, Applause, uh, <laughs> laughter, yeah, yeah, and it doesn't look like it, yeah, and my favorite, okay, all right, but anyway, I can do whatever, I can record whatever I want to, uh, and uh, I'm going to do uh, JV games. I'm going to do middle school game. I'm going to do every one I can. Now, sometimes my job prevents me uh, from being able to be there all the time. Like uh, tomorrow, I've got to go to Pascagoula, Mississippi. So I'm not going to be there for the Rockmark game uh, when the varsity plays. I will be back sometime Tuesday. I doubt if I'm back in time to uh, do anything well, I think JV's playing Tuesday. I have to look at the schedule. But anyway, um, I think middle school has a game Wednesday. Where's my phone? Oh, here it is. I got a schedule right here. Let me see. Next week, Wednesday. No, they're playing in Heard County. I'll, I won't be able to make it down there. That's too far of a drive. I'd have to get off work too early, but. Let's see when the next, let's see what we got here on the schedule. Okay, so Thursday, 
I'm showing. CMS is playing Temple. And JV is playing Central Carrollton. So I got some good video of uh, uh, the JV team this weekend. So I'll, I think I'll probably go, well, it's in Cedartown. So I'll do the CMS game Wednesday. I'll try to do the CMS game Wednesday. Um, and then, let's see, Varsity plays Central Carrollton that same day. Nothing that Friday. Okay, so I've got on the schedule Monday the 23rd, Cedartown JV is playing Bremen in a doubleheader at Cedartown. So I'll do that one. Uh, maybe I can get some help from Andrew, Brandy. Uh, uh, but I definitely want to be involved in the play-by-play -play now. And uh, I'm working on getting, I've got two mics. I'm working on getting three, so uh, the more the merrier, right? But anyway, that's kind of a brief history or, uh, or how I got started in video. And uh, I do enjoy it. Uh, maybe it's something I can do in retirement. Uh, but anyway, you know, that's what it is. So as always, simplify and go dogs. Ain't that right?